Good morning and welcome to the Clarity Financial Midday Report. I'm Brent Clanton. Markets are positive as we approach the noon hour on Wall Street. The Dow and Nasdaq each ahead eight tenths percent. The S&P 500 up six tenths percent. Let's check in with Clarity Financial's chief investment strategist, Lance Roberts, for more. This past Friday, the market broke out to all-time highs. I discussed that in this past weekend's newsletter, along with all of the relevant risk that currently exists in the markets today, really from a fundamental perspective, as much as there is a technical risk to the markets from just very overbought levels and very large extensions from long-term moving averages. Well, the move higher on Monday following a NAFTA deal has now gotten bulls excited enough to continue to push markets higher, not completely unexpected following the move higher on Friday. Uh, the one thing we'll be looking for here in particular is really where the market pulls back to. In the next few days to the next week or so, we should see the market come back and retest this breakout level. That's the level we're looking for to increase equity exposure in portfolios and add further equity risk to our models really kind of across the board. As we move into the latter half of this year and, and particularly further into October, November and December, those typically tend to be stronger periods of the year for the markets and for performance. The one concern here I have really over just the next 30 days in particular is after a strong July and August, which July and August tend to be seasonally weak months for the market. September really kind of sets up for a potential month for a pullback here. Again, that retest of the breakout that could set us up for a, a better move into the end of this year. So that's what we're looking at today. Now, quit bothering me, go away. Thanks, Lance. A few of the articles we're working on this morning include Richard Rosso's piece he's writing for Forbes about five reasons why pre-retirees are smarter than you are. It's a look at understanding the steps to take five to seven years before retirement so your plans don't get derailed. John Camarianos will be publishing an article later today on whether and how the Trump administration's challenges might affect stocks and whether you should care. And Jesse Colombo just published a piece about how we still have loose monetary conditions despite the Fed rate hikes of the past couple of years, which is why the bubble continues to inflate. Be sure to join us tonight at 6 p.m. Central Time for the Real Investment Hour on AM 700, The Voice of Texas, with a recap of the day's markets and strategies to help you grow financially healthy, wealthy, and wise. Don't forget to subscribe now for a new professional version of Real Investment Advice we're launching in September. Click on the RIA Pro tab at realinvestmentadvice.com and subscribe for free before it debuts. I'm Brent Clanton, executive producer. Thanks for watching.